Ani, this is Amber, and we're back with day two of fish skin tanning. So today we get to take our skins out of the solutions that we put them in. And I have all three of them here, and I'm gonna bring you guys over to my sink so that I can show you the first step, which is giving them a really good rinse off. Rinse your skin off with cool water. Doesn't have to be very cold, but still cool to touch. Grab your Dawn dish soap again. And especially with this egg mixture, you want to make sure you wash the skin very thoroughly because we don't want any of the egg being left on this skin. So I mentioned to you before that bark tanning takes longer than a day. So it can take a week or two weeks. Really it depends on whether or not you're happy with your skin after a week you can choose to leave it a little bit later this skin is a piece of salmon skin that i got from a sushi restaurant and i've had it in a tea mixture for about probably a month now and i just switch it out for fresh tea every time i see the mixture looking a little bit lighter in color um, because you'll see when i pull out the skin that it really takes on the color of the tea. So it's absorbed all of those tannins from that red rose tea. And if you look at this skin, it's a different skin than the ones we were using before, but it's a lot thicker than it was when it first went in here. So when it first went into this, it was nice and thin, just like our perch that we originally worked with. Um, so it's really cool to see this effect after it's done. And our last and final step is to dry our skins. So I have all of the washed ones here. Oh, some of the dye leaked onto that, but that's totally fine. And you will need a wooden board. It doesn't have to be thick, or it could be like a heavy duty piece of cardboard. Something that you think will hold safe um, push pins really well. And the method that we're going to dry this one is just flat dry. So I'm going to pin it down. The last method we're going to do to dry is by hand drying. And so this takes a long time depending on the size of fish and the thickness of your fish it can take anywhere between an hour to a couple hours um, so be prepared and be committed if this is the method you want to do but when you hand stretch it you're actually breaking all of those fibers that want to dry really stiff together so i prefer this method to dry my um, either egg tanned or bark tanned fish skins because it actually produces a pretty soft usable material at the end. One eternity later. Our fish skins are now done drying and I'll show you the results. Here is the perch skin that we had in glycerin and isopropyl alcohol. It turned out really nice. I'll bring it closer for you to see. Um, but as you can see, it's a little bit see-through. And remember, we dried this one by tacking it down. So it's uh, definitely usable material, but it almost feels like plastic, which is kind of interesting. But here is the texture. And you can see right through it. So this could be used for a lot of different crafts for sure. This is the egg tanned one. It's a little bit stiffer. Um, we also dried that one out by pinning it down. And if we had broke this one by hand and dried it by hand, then it would be a lot softer and more material-like as well. But this is how this one turned out dry. You see those little holes that I made there? 
but still a very interesting skin. And I think even with egg yolk, you could experiment and try putting dye or food coloring in the egg yolk to help dye the skin a different color because it does turn out a little bit yellow from the yolk as well. And here is my favorite one. This is the piece of salmon skin that I had been um, tanning in red rose tea for about a month. <clears throat> so this came out so soft and as you can tell it's like exactly like material. And I'm definitely happiest with this. This is the best result I've ever had and it's the longest that I've left fish skin in tea. So it does take a lot of patience because sometimes you want to make it and you want to have it right then. But if you want a really thick, nice, soft skin, I highly recommend doing the bark tanning method with red rose tea if you can't find bark. And just swap out the mixture every once in a while to keep it, keep it strong, but it doesn't need much more attention than that. And then break it by hand because when you break it by hand, that's what's helping to create this uh, material. But this is just so perfect. Like I could use this for anything that I would use leather for. I'll show you. Close up. I'm so happy with how all three of my fish skins turned out and I can't wait to incorporate them into some art projects. And I really hope that this video has encouraged you to try fish skin tanning at home because it's really fun and really easy to do. Um, these are just three methods that I've taught myself, but there's lots of different ways that you can tan all sorts of hides. So give it a try, experiment a little, um, let me know how it goes, and also feel free to ask me any questions you might have and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Miigwech so much for watching this and for sharing this video and a huge miigwech to create to learn for helping create, make these videos happen. Um, I'm so happy that a lot of people are going to get to watch this video and try fish skin tanning.